Today we're going to the Gall Woods Nature Preserve north of Archibald, full of diverse trees. Some are 200 to 400 years old, and the hike is 2.8 miles, broken into three trails. We'll do all three. Gall Woods is the least disturbed woodland known to remain in extreme northwestern Ohio. This preserve features some of the largest trees remaining in the state. Gall Woods exemplifies the Black Swamp, forest which once covered a vast area of the flat post-glacial lake plains southwest of Lake Erie. An outstanding feature of this woods is the abundance of giant bur oaks and exceptionally large white oaks, chinkapin oaks and cottonwoods. Many of these magnificent trees are 200 to 400 years old and measure 4 feet in diameter. A rich variety of native shrubs and wildflowers occur in the woods including spotted coral root and three birds orchid. The preserve is best visited in the spring before mosquitoes emerge. We saw trails that go across the road down there, like this one. Can you see that? And... Uh, there's nobody here. It's very quiet. 2.8 miles. Takes about an hour to get through the trails, but there are some additional trails you can go on. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll do it or not. Close to the dark. It's about 4 o'clock. Um, I don't know, but we're going to have fun either way. It's pretty. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Something running back there. Something big. Could be a deer. But the reviews online said that they loved the fact that there were all these signs around talking about what different trees and flora there is. And this is a yellow buckeye. So it says the Gold Woods in 1836, Peter Gold. Uh, Catherine Marquette Goal and son Peter Jr. arrived in German Township, Fulton County from Grand Charmont, France. The next year, Goal purchased 80 acres along the Anse de Feves or Bean Creek. It sounds so much better, Anse de Feves, than Bean Creek. From the General Land Office in Lima, Ohio, the creek was renamed the Tiffin River for Edward Tiffin, Surveyor General, Senator, and Ohio's first governor. The Goal Farm grew to more than 600 acres. So this is the uh, forested remainder of the Great Black Swamp. Goal Woods was named a national natural landmark. Also in 1974, the Goal Homestead was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2005. Here's the rules. You can't hike off designated trails, collect any material, hunt or fish, kindling for fire, swimming, wading, climbing, rappling, picnicking, consuming or possessing alcohol. Nothing, you can't do any of that stuff here. All you can do is walk. Here's a map of the park. Uh, preserve office is right here. There's a cemetery on the property, which we'll probably go to after this, and we are right now at the parking lot. So, it looks like we're going to go through, I'm not sure. Oh, right, here's the bulletin board. We're on this parking lot. So, we're going to go through here, maybe go through the Cottonwood Trail, the Burr Trail, the Tulip Tree Trail. Maybe stop and see the Goal Cemetery. Walk down this road or maybe back into this woods. And then around to the Toad Shade Trail. Comes out right across the street. Right over there. And back to our car. So that's where we're going to go. May take us an hour, might take us an hour and a half. We'll see. Here's a Virginia Creeper. Well, the vine is. Uh, so far it's a paved trail and the trail goes this way that's the short one 
The cottonwood trail goes this way, and the tulip tree trail. And the goes cottonwood this trail way. is 1.4 miles, and the tulip tree trail is 1.2. The bur oak's only 0.8 miles. So before you go in, they want you to brush your feet so you don't bring in foreign material. Now, if you go this way, you can turn off and go through the tulip trail, but we're going to take that long tulip trail and then can join into where this would tie up into that. So we'll miss this little strip, but we're going to get a longer hike. Still paved. All woods. Beautiful. Tons of different trees. Nice and cool back here, too. Now, this is ranked four, uh, uh, 4 4.6 out of 5 for Ohio trails. So it's got a very high ranking. I keep hearing something stir back there. I want to try to be quiet. Woodpecker community. It's a bur oak tree. Wow. You can hear the woodpeckers in the distance. Man, that thing is huge. Let me get a picture with it. So it says this spot marks the crossing of the Michigan Meridian and the west line of the 1807 Treaty of Detroit. In October of 1815, Deputy Surveyor Benjamin Howe, Alexander Holmes, and 11 crew members passed through here as they surveyed north from Fort Defiance to the Michigan baseline, roughly 60 miles north. Two more giant trees, a white oak. You might oats. All sides of the So we came to a cross. There's a map here. It says our location's B. B's right here. So we've come up to here. We can either turn or we can keep going. Do this loop. Then we're going to do this loop, and then we're going to do this loop. So we're doing the big one. In loving memory of Ron and Delilah Dillbone. So here we have a white oak. Burns in there too. All burns. Wild birds. This is a tulip tree. Reaches over a hundred feet. Green and orange blooms are found at the top. Tall one.
Most Ohioans are familiar with the woodpecker family of birds. These birds have stiff tail feathers, strong claws, short legs, and that allows them to swiftly climb up trunks of trees. These are hard beaked to poke holes into the wood. And there are signs of woodpeckers back here. Kind of opens up a little bit back here on the curve. A lot more lights coming in. Less trees. Now here we have a sugar maple. It says the American Indians showed pioneers how syrup and sugar could be made from this clear sap of this tree in March. If you come back here, there's some swamp areas like this. It is a black swamp area. And, uh, so there's mosquitoes. You definitely want to wear some kind of mosquito deterrent. This is an ironwood tree, and the bark of this tree has parallel cracks that make you think of railroad tracks. Flowers of both the sexes grow on the same tree. This is a basswood tree. It looks a lot like that ironwood. But this is edible and all months spring leaves provide salad. The seeds are cooked like beans in summer and made into candy in autumn. Winter buds are good too. Mammoth tree that's down. It's huge. Here we have an Ohio State Buckeye tree. Leaves are that five prong finger spread. The brown nuts aren't edible. See it? Black squirrel. There's a chipmunk running around right here. There it goes. Okay, so now we're on C, which is right here. We're on B, we just did this whole part. Uh, we could go this way and go up here, or we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna skip this too and do this whole long thing. All right. Oh no, we're not just gonna do that. We're gonna do all this too. So not just that, we're gonna do all this too. And this is what we just did. So right here is a deer highway. 
And then look how these big oaks twist as they dry, split apart. Isn't that cool? This is an American beech tree, and a de decoction made of soaking the leaves in warm water is useful for treating burns and frostbite. There are two nuts in each pod. Bark looks like this. Oh, somebody's cut into it. It's sad. Now this is an oak as well, but it's called a chinkapin oak. And the chinkapin oak is a spreading tree that is native to the greater Midwest, ranging downward in the deep south. You can pause this and read that if you'd like. So in this dark woods, you can see light right here in front of us. And look, there's one little flower growing in the light. Now right across from the Chickapin Oak, we're back at the other side of this like turnaround at the 815 Michigan Meridian Crossing where they walk through here and mark this spot. Here's a log that they cut off the side of the trail and look how big it is compared to Tammy. I can see a building through the trees. I think that's the upkeep office. All right, so we've made it to D. Next stop is E, F, and then we come back out to that parking lot we were at. So E, F, and then A. So this is the tulip tree trail that we're on now. And just so you know, we were on Burr Oak Trail. The one prior to that was Cottonwood Trail. And we started out on Burr Oak, kind of. This is Burr Oak, and then Cottonwood, Burr Oak. Now we're on the tulip tree, and then we're going to go down Toad Shade Trail, and it's the longest one. The trail picks back up right over here, and I think right down there is the graveyard. Let me check the map. Okay, so Tammy's correct. The car's right down there. When we get through the, to the other side of this tulip tree, we go across another road, and... Uh, that's where the graveyard or the cemetery's at. So we'll check that out as well. There's some history there. So it must flood over here some because there's some boardwalks set down into the trail. I think that these could be slick if they're wet. So yeah, they're slick now. Be careful, but it'll keep you out of the, the mud. So this is a giant shag bark hickory. See some of the shag coming off. You can read about it there if you'd like. Pause here, you can read it. So some things that people see here in the past are uh, those big brown millipedes, um, salamanders, tree frogs, and then all your normal woods. Now look at this, there's a couple burrs, burls on this tree that are pretty. Check this out, look at that big old burl. Almost looks like a heart. So far, it's been completely dry, although people say it gets a little wet and muddy. Uh, on this tulip trail, we found a couple, that's the ones with the boardwalks, found a couple soft spots. But all along this trail, you'll see different types of mushrooms everywhere growing out of this dead wood. These black squirrels are all over. They must love these acorns. All right, so we heard something when we came in. Look at this. Huge pile of scat. Both sides of this trail. It's gotta be, I mean, that's huge. That's gotta be a Sasquatch.
couple big rocks. A blue one. And a brown one. Here's one closer to the trail. Look at this massive burrow. Huge. Okay, so we've made it to E. And we're not going to take this tulip tree loop, which we could. We're going to go up this way. Here they're talking about some of our Ohio spring wildflowers. There's the spring beauty, the large flowered trillium, the bloodroot, and the marsh marigold. If you'd like to read the rest of that, you can pause now. All right, on to Toad Shade Trail, and then back to the car. But we're still gonna visit the cemetery. It might be through this hike, it might be after. Stay tuned. So this trail in front of us goes to the parking lot, and this one <laughs> continues to Toad Shade Trail. If you come in from this parking lot, you go right to Tulip Tree or left to Toad's, Toad's Shade. Now, dude, we just walked into a pine wood forest. This is why they call it Toad Shade Trail. Beautiful back here. I feel like Robin Hood. Okay, so this road's coming up, and when we get there, we have to go right to the cemetery. And we have to come back to the trail because the trail doesn't come back off the road for a long ways. So the trail picks up right up here, but the cemetery is down around the corner. Uh, you can see it from where the trail starts. A big birch, man. Some big trees back here. Here's the other half of Toad Shade Trail and the cemeteries right across the street. Eighteen fifty one. Here's one with some mosaic rock on the front. It's like, I did that on purpose. There's kind of a path, walking path, right up the middle. There is no driving path on this cemetery. Here's some goal. John and Catherine goal. 1832 to 1896. Catherine lived to 1906. There's a Henry and F.E.D. goal. Marilyn C., wife of John C. goal. And these are all goal kids. All the way down. Yeah, there's a goal there. Rest in peace, Empton Baby. I love how the hill kind of exceeds to the older grave sites. There's a goal there. And uh, at the top of this hill, there's another goal. And then there's some Jollards. Jollards over here. And uh, there's a mother. There's mom. Robert Grisner, Vietnam. In this uh, bench. This is cool. And this bench is in memory of the Goal Homestead from 1837 to 1966. We'll get a picture from that.
Right there says mother. This one here says father. And then there's one over there that says mother. Okay, so this is the only way in. There's a bench to sit here with a little butterfly on that plaque. But cemetery. Or look at the woods. These beautiful trees. But yeah, walk in, walk out. There's no driving path. All right, let's get back to this trail. A little watering hole as soon as you walk in. Pretty. Toad shade trail. Maybe we'll see some salamanders. That'd be cool. Another watering hole right there. So there's a bench coming up and that's so you can look at this kind of water area. It's not a creek or a river, it's not flowing. It looks like it stays wet all the time. Mushroom going all the way up there. Over that crest there is a creek. Or a river. You can see the river real well. Kind of a uphill climb of some sorts. It's moving. So there's a turn off with a a look about Thanks Ohio. Oh boy, it looks scary right there. Careful. Nice. And this isn't far from where we're going to go out to the parking lot. So if you just wanted to come this far, this would be easy. Alright, so we're coming up to the end of the trail. I believe. Oh no, we're just crossing the road. Good deal. We've got a little further to go. Raspberries. Got a tangled tree archway. Go under. From the end of this trail so we hope you enjoyed this this is the Grohl uh, State Park wilderness area and trails it is just a walking trail 2.8 miles uh, if you do the long one so we just walk three miles we hope you enjoyed this uh, beautiful area it does get a little wet uh, 
part of the trails is broke up into three sections. Part of the trail is uh, a lot easier and kind of rock, you know, has solid rock down, but none of it's paved. Even the boardwalks get a little slippy, slippery. So, Gold Woods State Nature Preserve. It's right here in Archibald, Ohio, just north of Stryker. So the Gold Nature Preserve in Archibald, Ohio was a wonderful time. Great walking trail, beautiful views, and dynamic flora and trees you probably won't see anywhere else. And I love that they have a buckeye right out front. The huge white pines and the other pines that were throughout this woods really made it a unique experience.